towards Earth. Detected by a Russian robotic telescope, it's one of the largest and most dangerous space rocks approaching our planet's orbit. RT's Murad Gaziev looks at the threat from the void. Humanity's last experience with a large asteroid was painful. Almost two years ago, the Chelyabinsk meteor traveling at 19 kilometers a second exploded in the skies above Russia. The blast was dozens of times more powerful than an atomic bomb. But that meteor was only 20 or so meters in diameter, weighing about as much as the Eiffel Tower. This new asteroid is an entirely different story. It's 20 times bigger, the size of a village, weighing millions of times more. If this asteroid, for now called 2014 uh, UR116, flew into our atmosphere, it wouldn't just burn up in the air and shatter windows. This would hit the planet's surface, potentially killing millions. But calm for now. It's not yet on a collision course with Earth. The danger is, as it passes near planets in the sun, gravity could alter its path. In fact, the Russian space agency, which detected UR116, has satellites watching just for such objects. And it's not only Russia. An American observatory a decade ago detected another similar asteroid. There was a big scare about that, if you remember. Apophis was named after the Egyptian god of evil, and asteroids its size hit Earth on average once in 80,000 years. NASA gave it a very real chance of impacting our planet, though that was later revised down. But the danger from asteroids is very real, and astronomers are increasingly keeping an eye out and thinking about what to do if they confirm a collision course, though don't expect anything quite as dramatic as Bruce Willis leading his team of misfits to save the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is James LaFleur from Impossible Channel, and I want to talk about something really serious. I want you to share this right now. This that you're seeing here was reported and emailed to us today. Okay, so it's happening. VISS is not fake, and it may be rigged. They may be using a GoPro, but it's not fake. And we have another light source in the sky. It may be never rigged. This is the flickering sun. The sun is wobbly because they say that our planet is out of its normal, usual orbit. Be this is really weird because the sun is supposed to have sat already and it's coming back with this pinkish light color and it suddenly the, the ISS cuts its feed and it's supposed to go dark but the ISS is still there lit up by this red color so they, they say that we've got this other planet you know, coming in our direction and it's going to cross our sky you know the planet of the crossing and well I guess it's here my guess is it's here, you know, and we've got evidence, footage, pictures, we're going to show you right now that confirms this footage from the ISS, this color. So this is 3 a.m. in the morning and the ISS is lit up with this color. Okay, take a look at this, folks, I'm going to show you, I want you to sit down right now. Hi, James. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I was watching your breaking news 3 a.m. Nibiru sunrise video recently and remembered that I had witnessed something similar. On October 15, 2016, I looked outside and noticed the sky was unusually bright for 3 a.m. But it wasn't until I looked towards the southwest that I knew something wasn't right. The sky was unusually red. Now, I'm in the mountain daylight time zone. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. My southwest line of sight passed over a reservoir in provincial parkland, so no real city lights to speak of. At the time, no forest fires or fireworks displays. While the southwest sky was red, the rest of the city was lit up with white light. So I grabbed my SLR and took this video in order at the time to prove to my sleeping girlfriend that I wasn't exaggerating. So James, what do you think?
First of all, I think we've got wonderful fans and subscribers, and I think you, if you have anything you want to share with us, you must email us at thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com. Like this source said, the sky was divided by two colors at 3 a.m. in the morning, and one was red. And my official response is, this is what I think. What color is this? This is red. 3 a.m. in the morning in the ISS live feed and it's red. So whatever is going on, it is going on. It is there and it's not a lie. The flickering sun. Let's show you a footage we received today by this other anonymous source. Thank you very much. Here the sun is rising on a typical day. The not typical fact is that we do not have any cam trailing. This is weird, right? So this is what the source caught. The sun wobbling again, flickering. It's supposed to be going up, but it suddenly goes down and up again. And this is what the camera tapes. This is what it gets. This is the result of it coming up and down very quickly. Okay? So this is just hap this is happening all over and people are sending this in. We've got more on the flickering sun and it's happening. Okay? It's not fake. Do you understand this? It's not fake. Sun, something is wobbling and we've got footage of it. So you must share this right now. We don't know if there will be a tomorrow as we know it. I believe what's coming is for the best. But I really do not know what's going to happen. Okay. From now on, it's up to us to report and share. Take a look at that. This is the moon. This is from another light, uh, another anonymous source. And this is the moon and the same 3 a.m. sunrise. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. This is impressive, guys. This is just impressive. Please keep taking pictures, taking videos, and, and send it in to that impossible channel at gmail.com. Or if the video seems too big, it's too big, it's above 25 megabytes, please do send it through Mediafire or some other type of website. Download website. Take a look at that, guys. We've got this. A uh, pinkish sunrise at 3 a.m. in the morning. It's not pinkish. It's becoming red, right? It's more of a red type. It's yeah. Well, they say that Nibiru Planet X. The prophecies say for all that they it's it's coming with this iron collar, right? So it may be Nibiru Planet X. This may be real, and it may be here. So this is the sun flickering from the ISS. Again, this red iron color and this pinkish sunrise, right? This is from Rambo Napper. Thank you very much. The sun wobbling. Take a look at that. It's going up, up, up. It's getting bigger, right? But suddenly it goes back. What is that? You know what I mean? So it's wobbling. It's wobbling for sure. So we've got the sun wobbling and the pinkish sunrise but what's most impressive is that this before the sun comes up take a look at that the ISS is lit up by this red color which is being seen in Australia the UK Netherlands Canada and some parts of the US right the 3 a.m. sunrise the red 3 a.m. sunrise before the sun comes up it's it's lit up and when the sun when the sun seems to you know get up there it disappears you know you just can't see it anymore as clear as before so whatever it is I don't know if it's a second Sun you know I, I don't know if it is I don't know what it is okay now we've got this these two UFOs from Rambo Napper for example we've got this UFO hovering over our skies it's huge you know it's got this circular it's got this circular shape and it seems like a cigar UFO this is really, really amazing. Thank you very much, Ramon Alba. This is really amazing. It's not a cloud because the clouds look like this from the ISS. Okay, so whatever that is, it's huge 
and it's observing the outer skies so we may be facing an alien invasion or an alien war you know a secret alien war be beyond be i don't know maybe our governments are at war with these alien races and they don't they don't want to talk about it and that's why they're trying to make us pay attention you know to the election and all that you know all this mambo jambo i don't know take a look at that guys we've got this um from another another source We got this alien Black Knight satellite from another source, okay, and this is really compelling because it looks like a Lockheed uh, spy plane, but they say that it's there for 30,000 years and it's an alien uh, satellite. Now we opened it on Photoshop just to show you that you know it's not uh, it's not fake. There is something there. It seems to be the Black Knight satellite. It really does. Now it's really you know it's really wow. So we've got alien crafts hovering over our planet and we've got this other light source. Please do share this. We don't know what's going to happen right now. So um, do subscribe, share, comment below what you think about it and I'll see you again. It's been almost 10 years since little Pluto was demoted mm -hmm. from being a planet, but today scientists from the California Institute of Technology have announced that they finally have solid evidence for a planet X, a true ninth planet on the edge of our solar system. It's believed to be far beyond the orbit of Pluto, roughly the size of Neptune, with a mass 10 times that of Earth. There are things out there, little icy objects that are uh, orbiting in a funny way, and nobody was quite sure why. It seemed like there might be something with gravity pulling on them, but nobody quite understood. And finally, these scientists that you talked about uh, took a really hard look at it, did simulations, calculations, and they came up with the explanation, it probably is this giant planet. I, I think I read somewhere it orbits the sun every 10,000 to 20,000 years. Right. Uh, is that why no one has seen it to this no, point? No, that's not why. It's because it's so dim. It's, it's so far away that even though it's big, it's very, very dim and it would be very tough to spot with a telescope. I'm also fascinated at the idea that this planet could be so far out there and still our sun be the mass that is keeping it in the gravitational pull of our solar system. Right, right, yeah, but no, that's, it's true. That's incredible. And so there was a thought at one point from scientists that when they thought that there was something beyond Pluto, that it might have been all the mass of objects floating in the, in the Kyber belt, but it's not. Right, so, so the, all those objects are out there and they have a lot of mass, and originally the scientists said, look, a planet is such a crazy idea, <laughs> maybe it's the Kuiper belt itself that's pulling it on, on itself and making these, these orbits look funny. Well, and, and when we talk about the, the mass of this planet X, this ninth planet being 10 times that of Earth, for those who are not scientists, what does that really mean, the mass of a planet versus Earth's mass? Well, if you could put it on a scale, how much it would weigh. Yeah. I mean, that's really it. And, and so it's bigger, it's bulkier, it's, it's got more heft, it's got more gravity. It's this huge elephant in the living room, except we didn't know it was there. Mm -hmm. 
You mentioned that scientists haven't seen it yet because of how far away it is and right. how dim it is. Right. Is there a way for them to get visual evidence? Yes, so, so the biggest telescopes in the world can theoretically see this thing if they're looking in exactly the right place. And with the publication of this new paper today, uh, they are now going to start to look in earnest. How much further out there is this planet X than the rest of the planets in the solar system? I mean, it's, it's well. It's, so, so Pluto we think of as the really out at the very edge, mm -hmm. the, the very farthest thing that you could call a planet, even though we don't anymore. <laughs> and um, I still, I'm still supporting Pluto's I know, right I to be a planet. <laughs> uh, but uh, this thing is five times further out wow. than Pluto. Fascinating. Is yeah. there any chance it's not a planet? It, we no, it. there's always, it, it, it's very foolish to say no chance because, um, you know, you just don't know what you don't know. But the odds are looking very, very good. 60 billion miles from the sun. Yep. Amazing stuff. Michael Lemonick, thank you so much. Fascinating stuff. Great, thanks.